A Texas man in jail tonight following a year-long fraud scheme in Cape Coral. Cape Coral police say he pretended to own several empty lots and actually convinced a few would-be buyers to pay him for those properties. Thanks for joining us for Fox 4 News at 10. I'm Jane Monreal. Patrick has the night off. Tonight, a real estate expert tells Fox 4's Rochelle Aline that his arrest won't stop other scammers just like him. Right now, parts of Southwest Florida are seeing a housing and construction boom. There's certain areas that aren't experiencing this because people don't want to be there. Um, that's not their preferred area, but the preferred areas <laughs> it's supply and demand. <laughs> Local realtor Kaina Destine says some of those preferred areas will also likely see a rash of fraudsters trying to cash in. And it's going to happen more in the Lehigh and Cape Coral area just because there's so much development happening. And Cape Coral police say they've already caught one of those folks red handed. You're looking at 56 year old Edwin Swanson of Houston, Texas. Police say in 2020 he stole the identity identities of several Cape Coral property owners and use their identities to try and sell their vacant lots to unsuspecting buyers. And in a few cases, he was successful. Um, anytime when there's um, it's high demand, people are desperate. So unfortunately, they don't do their due diligence. Police say he was able to scam folks out of more than $100,000 for land he didn't own and is now facing several felony charges. So how do you protect yourself? The most important thing is to get somebody that can represent you. So you do hire a real estate agent. Destine says an agent can help you with paperwork, vetting potential sellers, and even making sure the property you want is worth the investment, especially if you don't live in the area. Pictures can be deceiving online too. So if you're in another state and you decide to um, purchase locally, maybe that agent can go out there and do a live video so that you're not being, uh, I guess the terminology, terminology nowadays is catfished. <laughs> in Cape Coral, Rochelle Oline, Fox 4. To read more on Rochelle's story and get the latest developments, you can visit our website, fox4now.com.